What up, beauty fans? It's RB here for I Advice Forever, and I'm sorry I haven't been making any videos on YouTube. And uh, anyways, I'm making one right now, and it's about the latest hubbub that is iOS 7. It's really great. Uh, uh, you can see these bubbles moving, uh, whatever they called, or uh, the circles or bubbles. Anyways, it's actually a live wallpaper that the iOS 7 brings with it. Uh, so they're not only live wallpapers; they're also still ones. But I chose the live wallpaper. So actually, these live uh, bubbles actually move along with your movement. If you pull down, see, there you go. Not only with your movement, they move about randomly by themselves as well. So, the first feature that they've added in the lock screen is that you don't have to pull right from here. You can pull it from anywhere, see? So that you don't have to go all the way down in order to unlock your phone. And then you can see an animation right here if you put the wrong pass. See, it just shakes a bit. So I'm just going to put my pass for one second. There you go. This is the new look of iOS 7. A completely fresh look, I must say. Oh, here as well, uh, once you move your phone a bit, you get the mo apps moving as well. So it's a tiny feature that you p uh, mostly can be seen on camera. But if you go ahead and install iOS 7 yourself, you might be able to experience it. Anyways, so now uh, let's go on and see. Uh, I'm going to show you the, uh, uh, well, the advantages and the disadvantages of iOS 7. I don't find any much disadvantage, but seriously, I'm going to tell you everything about iOS 7 right now. Let's go on to uh, messages. There's nothing much changed except the blue uh, of the, these are green and just a little bit, uh, you know animation that they've added to it and this the multitasking obviously I'm gonna tell you later anyways uh, everything has been changed uh, there's nothing that hasn't been changed and uh, the font as well anyways moving on to photos so photos uh, is really great they've inter the photos application is real intelligent uh, yeah where you take your photo it actually uh, combines it and for example, I've taken this in Riyadh, so it has kept it in a separate place, and all of this has been taken in Riyadh as well, some other separate place. And this, on different places, different locations, other you get. So this is in Karnataka, India, so all of these are different, so I really like it. But if you don't like the cluster of this, you can just go ahead into the normal one, that is... Uh, camera right here see you get the normal one instead of all the clustered ones is in case you don't like it anyway so you have the down ones you can share it as well now moving ahead to the camera app that they have here right here right the camera app the camera app features re is really good uh, you just have to move ahead uh, you get video you get photo and you get square or you get panorama as well so you just have to move ahead uh, and you get everything that you want so now you can see right here there's uh, quite a few features that uh, the filters actually uh, you get to choose within the filters of these uh, you get this so it's really good uh, that they've added not many uh, filters but still at least some uh, are there right here for you to actually choose between so that was the camera app Moving ahead, we got um, weather. Of course, we got weather. See, uh, sorry, right here. Yeah, yeah. Once you have uh, installed weather, you get uh, you obviously weather is obviously installed. Anyways, I'm sorry for that. Uh, whatever. Okay, you see that the sunlight. You actually get the animation of it. It's best when it's raining or when it's uh, snowing or something like that. Uh, it actually gives you the animation of that, the rain or the snow coming right behind your screen. It feels so good. Now you can just see some sun rays. That's all. That's nothing much. So, but uh, really, the weather has really improved uh, much. I really like the new weather app. Now we go ahead into Passbook, uh, which I don't use much, but anyways. Uh, just nothing new in it, um, the same way it is. The notes, of course, the time has also been changed. Um, they've also given these 1 hour 3 minutes behind, 30 minutes behind and stuff like that. That's also a good feature that they've added. Anyways, 
So now let's go ahead into the control center, which is another good feature that they've added into. So it's, it's nothing new for the Android users anyway. Uh, they have uh, it all in their notification center. But the, once these the Apple has added this completely new, again the translucency effect uh, that you can see. You can toggle between anything right here, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and stuff like that. Anyways, that was the uh, you get uh, the control center. Now going to Safari. Safari has a lot of great things, but now I, I seriously, my Wi-Fi has gone out. Uh, but anyways, uh, right here, these are the tabs that you get. It's completely like a kind of the magazines that you have. You have to choose between and just pull this, uh, touch this up, and this comes up for you right away. It's like it's completely new animation that they've added. And uh, go ahead, just choose this back, and you get them again. So. And these are all the colors and stuff like that. Oh, the Wi-Fi is back. Great news. Anyways. Okay. Now, moving ahead. Yeah, once you, in Safari, you also get full screen browsing. Once you have entered the website, the, uh, you know, the, way, the place where you have to type and all just vanishes all by itself. And pull down in order to get it back. Anyways, now, you get uh, the music uh, as well. So, you have iTunes radio a great place I really love this thing that they've added just uh, click anything and you get uh, the for ex oh sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry sorry I want the radio so you just have to touch on every anything that you get and then you can actually choose between what uh, which it's actually an iTunes radio it's really a, a good thing that they've added oh the Wi-Fi is out again, so that's the reason why it wasn't working. Anyways, that was another good thing. Uh, you just have to update. That's all you got to do. Then once you have updated, you get iTunes Radio. You just uh, you can listen to it how much ever you want. So oh, here you don't have much uh, changes, except uh, the cha of this one. You have a completely different look for all these things. So uh, that is uh, one change that they've made in music. Alright, settings. Okay, one thing that I don't like in settings right here, okay, you see uh, that uh, they have left a lot of space over here. I feel like it's kind of, uh, you know, something's missing out over there. I don't know why. I don't, I don't like that. I just want it to be this way, you know, completely joined. But this one makes me feel like it's empty or something like that. Anyways, that's just, uh, uh, yeah, they bring in uh, Flickr and Vimeo and Twitter and Facebook as well, always are still there. So they've added much more things on that as well. The call is uh, nothing changes, just the uh, theme has been changed, as you can see. Alright, uh, that is something that they've added in calls. Then Game Center, you just get the little, uh, same little thing, just the animation has been different. Now, moving ahead uh, to the Notification Center, you have been seeing it. Uh, okay, of course the folder uh, the folders now in uh, iOS 7 you can add in how many applications you actually want into you can add how many applications and it, you can actually change the pages so that's one more good thing that they've added into uh, as you can see it's a completely fresh look of the iOS 7 the spotlight search right here pull down and of course the multitasking uh, let's open up some app right here. Well, music and um, settings. Yep, that's done. The multitasking, it's completely new. Uh, this is one of the features that I love about iOS 7. You get the whole new, uh, it just, uh, they take you away, uh, away from the, the, you know, the home screen and they bring it to this thing. And now you no longer have to click until those st they start wiggling and stuff like that. Just pull up and they're gone. And the best part is actually you're able to take two apps at a time see so you just take two apps they're gone so they're gone as well so that is another good thing that it was a multitasking now people uh, now uh, the one thing that I've found a big bug is actually the control center right here sorry not the mail it's 
it's the control center right here. See, uh, it's the music that I found difficult. See, I, tr I play it, I play it. I don't get any music playing. It's a problem over here. Of course, you have the airdrop as well. I forgot the feature because iOS 7 is full of features. You don't know which one to actually talk about. Airdrop is something that you can share easily with your friends or anyone who's near you. Uh, like you have a person who's using an iPhone 5 or 4S or whatever. You can actually just click on airdrop and you can just share photos or anything with them. Yeah, so as I was talking about the music app, it doesn't work much over here, see? Okay, and not even here, it's on actually on the lock screen as well. On the previous of uh, iOS, it used to, you just gotta double click, and then it used to pop up, but that ain't there. And then you bring up a control center, and it won't, ain't working over here as well. So, that is one bug that I find really uh, dumb. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead, there's a... Uh, Music, let's go ahead and play some song that's about Berserk or Berserk. I'm sorry you guys don't like the song. Okay, whatever. See, now you go into to the lock screen. I try to change, it doesn't go. See? Oh jeez, I'm showing you guys my password. See, and the control center as well, I'm trying to change, it ain't going. So that is one bug that I find in the iOS 7. So that's all guys for this video. I hope you enjoyed the total uh, iOS 7 go through. In my next video, I'm putting iOS 7 into the ultimate test. As my iPhone 4S is fully jailbroken and it's fully modified. It's uh, iOS 6.1.1 I guess and uh, this iOS 6. Uh, I mean 7. So let's see which is actually the winner which you guys like uh, i obviously like the ios 7 but i might be showing the back between those two and let's see what you guys like so thanks for watching guys and stay tuned subscribe and do give me a thumbs up and uh, do comment if you have any problem with ios 7 as well thank you